made up his mind. It's categorically states that no and no legal and applied policy for this um, for this round. Is this forever and infinitum, or is it for now? Because obviously it's a structural thing, and we all know that the automotive automotive industry here is, is highly imbalanced. We'll get into that in a few minutes. But um, is this forever or, or for no, now? Nothing is forever, right? Now the NAP review will be replaced by another NAP review later on. But insofar as this five-year cycle is concerned, uh, there will not be an ELD policy. So I speak on behalf of the, of the unwashed masses, might be. Uh, I think most people would like nothing more than a new car in the uh, Porsche, right? Everybody would like a new car. And if you've got a 15, 20, 25 year old clunker, you'll want to swap it in for a new car, be it Proton or Proton, or even a third national car in a few years' time. So is this a pricing issue? And if it's a pricing issue, and if it's a structural issue, why doesn't BT address it? No, because if you want to go and trade in your car, you can do it. So we want to, it's voluntary. We don't want to make it compulsory. End of life vehicle policy means that after a certain amount of time, 10 years, you have to uh, sell your car. You have to replace your old uh, car, which may still be in good, good uh, quality. I, I drove a Proton Vira for over 10 years, you know, so we don't want to make it a compulsory uh, policy. And you have an X17 now, so for, you know, for two months, it's true, he does have one. But, yeah, uh, add on on that. Yeah. Yeah, basically, I think uh, if the government decides not to take the Change your vehicles, the old vehicles, there's an incentive that is provided by the 